A plane with the body of José Eduardo dos Santos landed in Luanda on Saturday night. The former Angolan president, who was in power for 38 years, died last month in Barcelona, where he lived since 2019 and was treated. The arrival in Angola of the remains of José Eduardo dos Santos puts an end to a dispute that lasted since the 8th of July. The body was handed over to his widow, Ana Paola dos Santos, after a legal battle in the Spanish courts between two sides of the family. The older children, namely Chise, Correan Du and Isabel dos Santos, were opposed to the body being handed over to the widow and the repatriation of the former president's remains before the elections on the 24th of August. Some Angolans were at the airport. Angola is a country that has lived through a period of great turbulence and he is the leader who has worked for the pacification of the country. We were very sad to lose José Eduardo dos Santos. We are all Eduardistas. Our parents and husbands were from the FAPLA and all of them were in these forces in Luanda and north of Luanda. The Angolan people were waiting for the body because José Eduardo dos Santos was the president who gave independence, freedom to our country. So I'm very happy with the arrival of the body of the former president. The urn was then taken to the former president's official residence in Luanda, where it will remain until the funeral, for which the date remains undetermined. August 28, José Eduardo dos Santos' birthday is suggested.